Idaho, the boating season's begun, and if you're like uh, most of us, we're wearing dry suits, and they can be a little tricky to get on and off. So I'm going to attempt to give you a few tips that'll make your dry suit last longer and make it easier to get on and off. Keeping your zipper in good working shape is a lot easier if you use some zipper wax. I try to apply mine every couple times that I go boating, and it's just pretty easy. You just put it along each row of the teeth of the zipper, and um, you, once you do that, then you run the zipper up and down, and this makes the zipper function a lot easier. It's a great thing just to carry in your gear bag. You'll notice the first time it's a little bit easier, you run it back and forth a couple times. And then it just wants to close much easier. Next step, getting into your dry suit. One thing I find really helps is wearing a head beanie because then the net gasket doesn't pull on my head as much when it's coming over or pull on my hair or get stuck. Couple different techniques. One technique is where you take both of your arms, you're gonna set them like this in your dry suit. Then you pull it up and over through your arms. Then taking both of your hands back here. I like to take one hand and put it in the neck gasket so it kind of comes out like this. Grab my other hand and slip it on over my neck. Same thing when you're going to go out of it. I like to take my right hand out here, then take both hands, grab my neck gasket, slip it off over my head and then use my left hand to come out. Another way you can put your dry suit on is to go your arm, your head, and then your other arm. Once again, having the head beanie is really key. It makes the neck gasket come on faster, it makes you feel less claustrophobic or like you're stuck halfway with your suit on and halfway with it off. So if you start with your left hand, which there's more zipper on that side, so you pull your left hand up like so, and then a similar technique where you take your neck and I always like to take that arm through, like I said before, slip it over your head, use, slip it over your head like so, adjust your neck, and then take your other arm inside your suit like that. In reverse, it works just the same, but you'll start with your right hand, take it out, then your head, then your other one. So, and it comes off just as well. Once you're in your suit, whichever way works best for you, I like to make sure my neck gasket is on just so. Take your Velcro flap, go over. Now you're gonna pull your zipper. And it's really important to line up the pieces as you pull. That way it keeps the teeth in line nice and straight as possible. Pay close attention at the bottom here that you pull it all the way till it's snug and meshes up tight. I like to pull it down to my overskirt. This part Line up your Velcro all the way over the, zero, the zipper. That's going to protect the zipper and keep more water out. Push it onto there. Do your neck gasket and you're set. You're ready. A couple little tips that help. We call it burping your dry suit, but you want to push all of that air out so you don't have a lot of excess air in there because it's gonna fit better. Also, your gaskets, they need to be uh, maintained as well. It's good to keep them clean, keep sunscreen off of them, but you can use like a 303 protectant um, to keep them supple and to keep them from cracking. One last thing you should always check, check your relief zipper, make sure it's closed all the way, because the only thing worse than taking a swim is having your dry suit zipper not closed all the way. Happy spring paddling, and I hope it helps.